Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview round is a very important role, plays a very important role uh, for cracking your dream job role. Myself, I'm Malvi Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining various questions asked in uh, for the lead code, sorry, for the SQL round in different companies are available in the lead code. I will be explaining them one and one so that you can get a clear picture of that. All the code solutions for that are there in my GitHub repository and the link for that is available in the chart description below. In addition to that, I have divided the channel into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question. Premium playlist questions as premium questions from the lead code platform and all the 230 questions combined into one single playlist as all SQL playlist. It is of type medium question number 0550 gameplay analysis 4. Let's see the question in action. Okay, it is asked in GSN games for one to two years. They have given a table which is consisting of player ID, device ID, event date, games played, okay, so on. Write an SQL query to report the fraction of players that logged in again on the day after, okay, two consecutive days. After one day, they should be logging in on the second day also, okay. After the first login day, okay, only for first login day they are asking. Round of two. In other words, you need to count the number of players that logged in for at least two consecutive days starting from the first login date. Then divide by the total number of players. Okay, got it. Let me explain you. Okay. Here you can see how many players are there. One player, two player, third player. First player login on March 1st is the first date he login. After that, next day also he login. Okay, he is satisfying the condition. Player number two login on one date. Next date he didn't login. So he is not satisfying. Third condition again. He is March 3rd he login. After that, uh, 2018 he login again. So this is also not satisfying. So about total players are how many? Three. How many players it is satisfied one so it is 0 0.33 so first condition what we need to do we need to check uh, whether there are any consecutive or not second thing the first date should be the minimum first login date third thing we need to count the total things let's write the code first from activity a again in a join the same table only activity b such that a dot okay this date plus one should be able to second date because consecutive right let's say date add event date comma interval one day equal to it should be first table a so that this left table plus one means it becomes 0, 03 0, 02 to the right side 2 equal to b dot event date okay select all Okay, okay, it should be date add. Okay, here you can see wherever it is consecutive, it is matching, right? Uh, where is this rose? In that sign, such that why it's showing two times one, two, three times yeah the date should be matching and also one more condition a dot player id should be equal to b dot player id right so one law is matching 
and also there is a condition that first date should be a dot player id comma a dot event date should be minimum for each player in select from activity group by player id select player id comma minimum of event date okay let's run it so only one row is there now let's select this row count distinct a dot player id okay we got one as answer we need to divide by total number of rows divide by what is total number of rows select distinct player id from activity okay sorry count of distinct player id Okay, you are getting. We need to call it as fraction. Okay, they want to round off to two digits. Okay, let's submit it. Okay, our solution has been successfully accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for a data analyst, data scientist or a business analyst interview for a SQL round. And uh, it would be greatly helpful for you. Just try to complete all the 230 questions which are there in the platform. Thanks for watching.